right, one of my favorite videos. Welcome everyone, my name is Jamie. If this is your first of all of my videos, welcome. And if you are continuing, then welcome back. Um, this video will be all about this core ball, which is eight inches. And if you don't have one, please get one. I'll go ahead and include the link uh, so how you can get this ball sh quickly shipped to you. It's amazing, I love it. Without further ado, please get it. Come to your um, bottom on your, wherever you're gonna be working out and please place this, I'll show you. It's gonna be going underneath our uh, low middle back. So not too low, but in a spot where you can begin to round through your upper middle lower back and push weight onto it. All right, when we lift, we never come off of it. You still keep some skin attached to it so that ball doesn't roll around. And then later we'll lift up our bum and we'll slide the mat underneath it. Okay, we have at least 10 exercises or so and each one 30 seconds. So let's get our core fired up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the timer. Let's get it going. All right, the first one, it is simply lean back and lean forward. Again, don't ever separate your skin from the ball. You wanna make sure both of your sitting bones and hips and bum are on the floor and you haven't accidentally put one side but not the other. All right, if you'd like to add some arms, option to lean back and open the arms, close them and lean forward. You can also stay with where you were. Last one here. I'm gonna create now hands behind the head, bicycles. Okay, take your time, nothing moves fast. Try to lift the foot and tap opposite elbow to knee. Place the foot back. You can stay on the same side to create a deeper, quicker burn sensation. We are working our obliques. Exhale, right here, let's take it to the other side. If you were working solo side like me, and if you were working alternating sides, just continue to alternate. One more. Okay, this last one, we're gonna create an elbow pull. So we're gonna lean back and pull one elbow towards the floor and lean forward. Lean back, stay on the same side and pull your elbow back towards the floor Then lean forward. We'll stay on the same side. Concentrate on your hold, twisting the skin right here. Let's make the other side happen. Twisting only the skin on the rib cage and the sides of the hips not moving the hip bones, not lifting the hips off the back of our mat. Right, we're here for four. Concentrate, one more right here. All right, very good Russian twists. Keep your feet grounded, we twist to the right and center. We twist to the right again and center. So similar to a couple of the previous moves thus far, ground through your feet. If you'd like to create a lifted knee with a twist, you could do that right here. Let's take it to the other side. Elbow towards the floor, center, brush and twists. Lean back into that ball, burning. And again, if you wanna create that knee left twist with the knee lifting. All right, get one more in and that's it. We're gonna take this ball now to our sacrum. All right, so we're gonna lift up our bum after we're already down on our back. Make sure you have some room in front of you for flutters. Lift up your hips and place the uh, ball right at your low back and where the hips, pelvis, sacrum, all that spot meet. Keep your shoulder blades grounded. Take your time to tuck your knees in. Feel that little wobble that could happen and then send your legs out. Ready? Alternate flutters, one leg at a time. Keep your shoulders grounded to the floor. Notice your breathing. Exhale. Inhale. Concentrate on the muscles in the upper six pack rectus abdominal muscles. Using a lot more of our chest and triceps this way. Slowly creating your flutters. Remember to keep both shoulders grounded to the floor. Okay, I'm gonna create toe taps. 
beginning in a tabletop position and only alternating in, when you're ready one at a time. Almost there. Right here, tabletop your shins, find your balance. Only move when you're ready. Extend the toes towards the edge of your mat. Alternate each time coming back to tabletop. Each time concentrating on your navel drawing in. Keeping your balance. Exhale, you can feel how intense it is in these alternating toe taps. It's so good. Okay, we're gonna take our arms and move into a dead bug, but we need to keep our shoulders on the floor. Okay, keep moving through your alternating toe tap. We try and extend the toes with the edge of our mat. And then one more after you're done. You can keep your shins tabletop, or you can make it harder and put your legs straight up. Arms parallel to your legs. Shins can be tabletop or straight. I'll demonstrate parallel. Alternating your opposite leg and arm. When you're ready, find your tabletop parallel arms. Find your shoulders grounded to the floor. Pull your belly in and alternate from that hip flexor. So as the front of the hip extension. Almost there. Tuck it in, extend it out. Okay, this next one, I want you to take your time to place your hands back to the ground and bring your feet together so the soles connect. Send your legs out like little frog legs and then pull those feet back toward your body like diamond or butterfly wings. Send legs out like little skinny frog legs. We're tapping into our inner thighs more and our lower belly muscles here using some of our external muscles on the outside of our core, inner legs, outer legs. Almost there. Extend your legs out and in. And out and in. And we'll do it one more time. Out and in. When you're ready, take your time. Place those feet to your mat safely. Find your balance to lift your hips up. And then roll over. We're going to move into a prone position, taking this ball behind our knee. Turn your body over. Grab the ball behind your right knee and squeeze it nice and tight. Belly is nice and drawn in. Tuck your hips towards your mat. Bend your knee. Squeeze the ball. Here we go. Just the right leg. Squeeze the ball as you lift and lower. Keep your belly in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower, exhale, inhale, lift, and lower. We're almost there. We're going to take this ball, move it over to the other side. Remember, careful not to lift your tailbone. Keep the tailbone down. One more. I'm going to take the ball, try and switch it as gracefully as you can. Swiftly squeeze the ball and we lift and lower as soon as you can. Exhale, lift, and lower instead of your hips, tailbone pointing up. Tuck the hips, the pelvis, stay down low in your chest, your upper body. Squeeze that ball, lift and lower. Maybe one side stronger, that's okay. We're gonna try and match that weaker to the stronger one day since we have focused direction on what we wanna work on, what is not as strong, what's imbalanced. Okay, one more here at the end. Squeeze that ball and lift and lower up and down. Awesome, take that ball out, and then take your time to peel the, yourself off the floor. And I'll see you for our next video. Thanks so much for checking out this one. See you next time. Peace and love.